तो मे जून 2018 स्टूडेंट इज फाइंडिंग द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ अ फ्री फॉल ऑफ अ पेंडुलम एज शोन ऑन द फिगर मेजर द डिस्टेंस d सो वी हैव यूजिंग अ रूलर ऑफ द स्केल एंड सी दिस टाइम इट इज इन सेंटीमीटर सो राइट इन सेंटीमीटर्स डोंट कन्वर्ट इनटू मिलीमीटर as it, it is there in centimeters we have to substitute in centimeter so example when you measure it is 5 so we write that as 5 then the figure 1.1 is drawn one tenth of actual size so means the figure size is equals to one tenth of the actual size one by tenth of actual size we need the actual size so if the figure size is 5 cm what will the actual size if the figure size is 5 and we need the actual size so actual size this 10 will be multiplied so actual size will be 10 times so it will be 50 cm so 50 cm is the actual size but according to the figure it is represented by 5 cm so using the scale which is given you can work out the actual size the student displaces the bob and release so that it swing he measured the time for 10 oscillation So again, using a stopwatch, what is write down the time? So it is fourteen point zero six. This value is fourteen point zero six. Calculate the time for a period for a pendulum, like time for one oscillation. This is the time for ten oscillations. So we divide it by ten. So fourteen point zero six divided by ten, it will be one point four zero six seconds. This was a time for ten vibrations, and this one is a time for one complete vibration of oscillation. then we have to calculate t square so how to get like we get the value for t which is 1.406 so 1.406 square this will be the value for t square which is 1.99 so when we square that will be 1.99 then we use a formula for paper 6 you don't have to learn or memorize any formula the acceleration of a free fall by using this equation that 20 divided by t square So this is twenty divided by t square. What is the value of t? One point nine nine. So twenty divided by one point nine nine. This will give us the value for acceleration due to gravity, which is ten point zero five newton per kilogram. The unit of the gravity or meter per second square. The next part. Student adjusted the pendulum until the distance d measured from a center of the bob is hundred centimeter. He got the value for t square. Then on the dotted line, write the value of a t square is there. Calculate the acceleration of a free fall. We have to first write the unit of t square. So what is the unit of t square? It will be second square, and then it will be forty divided by three point nine four. So forty divided by three point nine four. That is ten point one five. And the unit again newton per kilogram or meter per second square. Another student states that repeating the experiment improved the reliability of a value of obtained value of g. State two changes that would make to improve the reliability. The stopwatch cannot be changed. basically how we can repeat the experiment so what we are changing we are changing the distance and we are measuring a time interval so what changes we can do we can change d or we can measure the time for 20 vibrations so first we were measuring a time for 10 vibration but as we measure the time for 20 vibration it will increase the experimental accuracy so by changing or using a different values or a greater value of a distance and measuring a time for 20 vibration will increase the experimental accuracy improve the experimental accuracy or reliability of the results i state one precaution that would you take in this experiment to obtain the accurate reading look we are reading the scale we are using a meter rule or so when we are measuring it we should look perpendicular avoid a parallax error in measurement of the distance so we should always look perpendicular 
uh, we should reset the stopwatch as we are measuring a time interval. So stopwatch must be reset and we should mark the mean and extreme position. Like as this pendulum is vibrating, so we should have indication that this one is a mean position and the other one is a extreme position. So these are some things, factors which can improve the reliability of the result when measuring a time period of a simple pendulum. So look perpendicular to avoid a parallax error. Is one of the precautions we should take when we are measuring any length. 